on halal development, uh, Mr. Speaker, alam ho natin na ang DTI ang chair ng uh, halal board based doon sa batas ng Halal Development Act. Pwede ang malaman, uh, Mr. Speaker, distinguished sponsor, kung magkano na ang inallocate or naallocate ng DTI pagdating sa Halal Development? Uh, with pertains to Halal Development, the DTI has actually allocated uh, 147 million. Uh, or rather, uh, is proposing 147 million for Halal Trade and investment promotions capacity. Sorry, let me let me start over, Mr. Speaker. Uh, the DTI has created a Halal Industry Development Task Force to ensure efficiency in the implementation of the mandate under RA 10817. Uh, it's also provided non-interest financing for SMEs and startups in the sector. Um, and lo initiated local and international investment promotions to capacitate the local halal industry players. Mr. Speaker, distinguished sponsor, ulitin ko po ang tanong ko. Magkano ang na-allocate na? Historical ho ng DTI mula nung nabuo ang batas uh, tungkol sa halal development. Mr. Speaker, is 10 million pesos a year uh, as part of the regular budget of the export marketing the year 2020. Pero magkano ang specific para sa halal? Kasi yung, um, yung 10 million. export ko, magkano? 10 million. 10 million. Ngayong taon ho, magkano? 10 million din po. Nung nakaraang taon, magkano? 10 million. Every year since 2020, it's been 10 million. Itong 10 million ho, ano yung basihan ng DTI? Bakit 10 million? Kasi nga ho, ang tinatanong ko, meron bang roadmap for halal industry, industry development roadmap ang, ang Department of Trade and Human. Actually, Mr. Speaker, DTI yeah, was proposing uh, 147 million to shore up the budget for this particular uh, opportunity and sector. However, yeah, it wasn't uh, granted completed in part of our collective augmentation of DPI's budget. Uh, but uh, I do believe the DOT is also looking towards uh, uh, developing halal uh, tourism, especially with the reactivation of the DIM. And then I heard your interpolation earlier of DOST, but hopefully they can have a line item for uh, halal also. So again, like the creative sector, the halal is a See, DOST is a uh, distinguished sponsor based on the pag-usap namin kanina. Though, naka, um, hindi naka line item, pero nangako sila na maglalagay, maglalaan sila ng line item for halal na 100 million. Pwede rin bang malaman? Halimbawa sa DTI kung magkano ang pwede nilang ilaan para sa halal development program given na ang chair natin ay si Department of Trade and Mr. Speaker, uh, ang usap po ang DTI na sana yung request nila for 147 million augmentation of the halal program of DTI, which is currently at 10 million, na may, ay mapagbigyan ng Kongreso. But, as of this year, it's 10 million. So, ano hong mangyayari? What will happen to the Halal Development Program of DTI? What will be the impact of the disapproval of their budget request, uh, Mr. Speaker? So, Mr. Speaker, according to the DTI, they're going to be looking into public-private partnerships for the development of the sector um, and coordination, of course, with DOST, given their commitments, uh, as well as uh, coordination with the DOD. Um, and, yeah, everything from halal financing, which are provided by uh, financial institutions uh, to develop businesses in the, in the sector, uh, certainly that can be achieved. 
even with limited resources as of now. But ideally, there's augmentation. But again, just to reiterate, uh, Mr. Speaker, distinguished sponsor, CDTI si ho wala pang halal development industry roadmap. Si DOST ho meron sila, pero si DTI meron. It's it's actually part of uh, the proposed 147 million augmentation expenditure program. Um, for a halal industry roadmap to be crafted. So, if it can be in Honyan, kahit chair si DTI, uh, Mr. Speaker, this is the sponsor. Um, since 2015, mula nung pagka-reconstitute nung board, wala pa rin talagang plano or halal development, industry development roadmap si DTI. Yun yung reality. Mr. Speaker, well, that seems to be the case. Uh, Magkano ba, Mr. Peter, distinguished sponsor, malaki ba ang gagastusin natin para sa pagbubo ng road map? Para kailangan yung 147 million? Tingin ko naman, oh, hindi tayo gagastos ng 10 million. No, no, Mr. Speaker. Um, roadmaps usually are within the ballpark of 2 to 5 million. Or even 1 million. Um, and the 147 proposed augmentation is for the implementation of what's in the roadmap. Yeah, nga, in the um, preparation, in the preparation of the roadmap, uh, it's a marginal amount that can be accounted for in the 10 million uh, proposed budget right now. Pero bakit hanggang ngayon, Mr. Speaker, kung meron sila kada taon na 10 million, hanggang ngayon wala silang halal uh, development in the zero map? Uh, the 10 million a year since 2020 has been used for marketing, uh, international participation in international exposition. Mr. Speaker, uh, distinguished sponsor, um, dinabangkit nyo nga ho na hindi mga 1 million lang kailangan. Pero alam naman mo natin sa isang agensya, napakahalaga ng roadmap, napakahalaga ng plano. Parang ang point ko lang, Mr. Speaker, hindi yata prioridad ng kahit sila ang chair para sa pag-develop at pag-invest doon sa halal development industry. Mr. Speaker, um, we have got a commitment uh, from DTI Kasi Mr. that chair, they will finance Mr. Speaker, the program. Sponsor, kung hindi huwanda si DTI, hindi ko pwedeng ipanukala natin dito sa Kongreso, pwedeng sumuto si DTI at rasa niyang responsibilidad. Para sa ibigay sa iba, mamendahan ng batas. Kasi, I mean, meron tayong batas um, 15, nung 2015 pa na ipasa pero hanggang ngayon ho, napaka basic na document <clears throat> na dapat ginagawa ng isang ahensya pero hindi nagagawa hanggang sa ngayon kasi it's a question of priority or focus ng isang uh, departamento uh, Mr. Speaker actually, uh, you've got a uh, commitment again from DPI to prioritize the development of the sector now that there's an interagency task force which all different government players will have a whole of government approach to developing our halal industry. Um, and in terms of like the creation of the roadmap, and I agree, we agree with the distinguished gentleman that we need a roadmap so that we can fund programs in the pipeline to attain the key result areas and KPIs of said roadmap. Uh, we have got a commitment that the DPI will fund the creation of a roadmap at the soonest. Uh, Mr. Speaker, distinguished sponsor, may I have the categorical uh, commitment of the department that the road must be developed uh, this year or early next year? Yes. Thank yes, you. Mr. Um, Speaker. The, since the task force has been organized, they will start with the roadmap. Okay, thank you, Mr. Speaker, uh, with that commitment. Mr. Speaker, distinguished sponsor. On halal development, what I understand that uh, this thing is sponsor, um, DOST is part of halal board, right? Am I correct? Yes, that is correct, Mr. Speaker. Ano ho ang role ng DOST sa halal board? Uh, they're doing research on uh, development of products. For 2024, meron ho ba kayong uh, PAPS para sa halal development? 
Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, uh, roughly it's uh, 100 million because uh, there are uh, there are still uh, consolidating the various uh, uh, allocation by uh, by agency by attached agency. So it's a total of uh, roughly 100 million for product development for testing and certification, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, distinguished sponsor, if you don't mind, um, ang tinatanong ko ho, kung merong item halimbawa, dahil bahagi kayo ng halal board, at alam ko meron kayong, uh, merong, ambaga ang DOST, merong dapat contribution um, sa halal development ng ating bansa, kaya tinatanong ko kung meron bang item uh, sa PAPS nyo on halal development. At magkano? Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, there's no specific uh, allocation but uh, because uh, most of the allocation is uh, proposal driven but they have already allocated uh, uh, for halal 100 million for halal development. Saan galing yung 100 million? Most At saan dito sa item ng DOST ang 100 million? Mostly from the grants in aid uh, program, Mr. Speaker. Hindi, ang tinatanong ko, Mr. Speaker, this is sponsor sa budget na 25 billion, saan doon yung item na halal na 100 million? Uh, Mr. Speaker, it's part of the grants in aid program. Uh, it's a project uh, allocation, Mr. Speaker. I didn't hear. Uh, can you repeat this at this uh, it's from the Grants and Aid Program, and uh, the allocation is on a per-project basis. It's a proposal that, driven. Uh, uh, is that part of the 25 billion? Or yes, is a fund coming from the different agency who are part of the Halal Board? It's uh, Grants and Aid, and it's part of the 25 billion. Mr. Now may I ask, uh, Mr. Speaker, distinguished sponsor, kung meron bang roadmap for Halal Development ng DOST? Yes, Mr. Speaker. There is a Can I have the copy right now, Mr. Speaker, this is sponsor? Yes, uh, David, for your copy, Mr. Speaker. One minute suspension. I suspend it. Session resume. Mr. Sponsor, please proceed. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. I'm um, the single sponsor with the commitment of the Secretary of the DOST to put an item on halal development and with their commitment also to give copy of their halal uh, development roadmap, um, I will now end my interpolation because today is the birthday of our minority leader. That is fully noted, Kong Bujib.